12 facing a family members or your own Alzheimer's disease is overwhelming fighting the disease can start with a simple act of moving your feet forward in a walk which you can do almost exactly one month from now Natalie Sutton from the greater Indiana chapter of Alzheimer's Association is here with me so is our own Tara Hastings who has opened up to all of us her personal story of the impact of this disease thank you ladies so much for joining me on this couch. Um, Natalie, I want to start with you because the conversation that we're holding here today is exactly what you want started through events like the Walk to End Alzheimer's. That's yeah. next month. Absolutely. The Walk to End Alzheimer's is the largest fundraiser in support of Alzheimer's and dementia, but also a huge lift for awareness. Um, I think it's really important that people who are on this journey or have cared for someone with the disease know that they're not alone. And there's nothing more powerful than being surrounded by thousands of people in your community who have faced the same thing. So uh, the you're exactly right. That conversation is so important. And here's one that you can rely on. You know, for you at home, this is someone that you feel like you know. And Terry, you have been so brave, <sighs> honest, candid, funny at times, well, you know, yeah. when sometimes you, you need that mm -hmm. when sharing your dad's journey. Why has that been important to you to share with us here at Wish TV and then our extended family at home? I think it helps me as, as a part of a therapy, you know, um, being real and honest and saying that some days are terrible, but yet some days are, are great too. Um, I'll have days where my dad cannot remember what he had for lunch, but then there'll be days where uh, we're in the car and he'll be like, hey, turn that up. I know that's song and he'll sing the entire song and so those are the things that I'm you know just uh, focusing in on um, I'm learning a lot about patience I think um, you're gonna have to say the exact same story over and over again and explain something to him um, over and over again and I just take a deep breath and just smile and pretend I'm telling him the story for the first time again how long has his disease been progressing uh, probably about three or four years is when I started realizing that oh, something's not right. I, it all started with finances. Like, hey, can you hold this $25 check? And then he's bouncing checks. And I'm like, a man who was very good with money, like that was my first red flag. Um, and he's going to be 64 on Friday. So this is, he's really young. Early onset, as yeah. it's called, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this conversation is close to my heart as well. I know I've shared with you yes. before that both of my grandmothers, one spent her final years living with us, um, suffered from Alzheimer's. And there are likely many of you at home sharing this connection of knowing someone. But Natalie, a lot of people may not have taken the time or known how that they can reach out and help in the efforts here. So what is your charge to them? Like, yes, you know somebody who's affected by this. Yeah. Help us. Well, the timing is perfect because, as you said, the walk is coming up one month from tomorrow. It's the Walk to End Alzheimer's on Saturday, October 12th at Victory Field. And um, our community can visit the website right now, alz.org, to get connected with the local walk and get registered. Uh, but the walk is a really beautiful day. Participants carry flowers to represent their connection with the disease or with the Alzheimer's Association's mission. And everyone comes together to raise funds for research to end the disease, but also to provide care and support for those who are living with or, or caregiving for someone now. Terry, you were optimistic about the options that people have in participating in this. Yes. A couple different distances you can choose right. to do. Right. Yeah. Bring your, bring your loved one that has Alzheimer's. I'm going to be there with my dad and we're going to go and there's a three mile walk and there's also a one mile walk. You know, my dad's a little slow, so I'm thinking maybe we'll do the one mile, you know, but it's important, I think, to get active and, and to do that. And um, Natalie, I know that the first researchers think that the first survivor of Alzheimer's has been born and that just gives me goosebumps and I'm so excited about Absolutely. that. Absolutely right? yes we have one white flower at every one of our walk events to represent that first survivor of Alzheimer's disease and the reason we walk uh, because we do have hope we we believe that a cure is out there and uh, we do need to keep working hard to advance that research and we need to care for people now while they're living this journey. Mm -hmm. Talk about motivation to get involved, right? Let's do it. All right. Thank you both so much. Again, it's October 12th, so you have time to register, and we'll get all that information online for you at wishtv.com.